we're going to start out with what is a systems of equations. Um, when we're talking about this, normally we're talking about linear functions or lines. And systems means you have more than one that are together. These are probably the most common real world situations that you can run into. Um, we're trying to lo we're trying the purpose of this is trying to locate when uh, the inputs match the outputs. So what does that mean? Well, let's let's take a look. Um, When, when, we're, when we're talking about um, inputs and outputs, let's think of a t-table. This is function number one, and here is function number two. So we've got our inputs and outputs. Now these are going to be linear. Let's say this one is, um, let's go with... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And the output is 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Now let's look at um, another linear function. Let's say its inputs are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Slightly different. But let's say that here, here's its, its, its input, its outputs at um, um, <laughs> okay let's say it starts out at um, 2 output is 2, 3 oops sorry let me try this again its outputs are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, we're looking for a system of equations, and we're trying to determine when the outputs, inputs and outputs match. So when we look at this, the inputs and the outputs match. They intersect at the same point. That means that there is a one unique solution. Now, when we work with this, a lot of times we deal with situations. Let's talk about phones. Okay? Um, you go to AT&T. Okay? Uh, the Adeline deal is, is it's uh, $10 a month. So you pay ten dollars a month plus two cents a minute. Oops. Two cents a minute. Now the question is is if we go to um, Verizon. And Verizon just charges me zero money a month plus four cents a minute. Will there ever be an equal time? Will, will there ever be a time when both plans cost the same amount of money? That's what we're going to be looking for with the systems of equations. When will this occur? Or will it occur? It, there's no guarantee that it will ever occur. That's just like um, the lab experiments that you'll be doing with. You'll be looking at cars. You'll be looking at a car A and a car, car B. 
One, one car will be traveling towards the origin. The other car will be traveling away from the origin. When or where will, will they crash? Will it occur? Now, that's pretty straightforward. That's no big deal. Okay? We're going to be looking for a systems of equations and deciding when and where they meet. In the next next videos, I will be going over the methods to, that you are going to use to solve them. Okay, so what does it mean about a solution and sharing the same point? Well, let's take a look at this. Let's say that I make a statement. The statement that I make is that um, this, this equation here and this equation here share a point. The point that they share or they intersect at or where the inputs e and the outputs are equal Okay, back to where we said. Oh, we said that they're going to share a point. Let's say they share this point here. Uh, negative 2, 2. So what does that mean? Well, let's, let's plug it in here. This is an X and this is a Y. So let's see what it means to say if, if this is a solution to this systems of equations. So we're going to substitute it in and see what happens. So 2 times negative 2 plus 2 equals negative 2. So that's negative 4 plus 2 equals negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 2. Hmm. Let's see what happens over here. So substitute in negative 2 plus 2 times 2 equals 2. So negative 2 plus 4 equals 2, 2 equals 2. So this is what it means to be a solution to a systems. We get a true statement. A true statement means that both sides of the equation are equal. Another way of looking at it is, is if I plug in a negative 2 for x and solve for y, I should get a 2. I plug in negative 2 for, negative two for this x, and I should get out a positive 2 for the y.